Hurricane Matthew forced a soon-to-be-wed couple out of their home. Then burglars broke in and the looters left with everything, even wedding supplies. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson shows us how the community made sure last weekend did not ruin the couple's wedding day. It was the exact ending Tyler Aronson and Sharifa Mattis wanted. It happened. It we made it. <laughs> we did it. Despite all, despite all the troubles and tribulations, we made it. It's been a whirlwind week. Started with winds literally whirling through their new home. The now newlyweds fled when trees toppled, and then thieves took a turn tearing through the place. It was a very traumatic thing happening, but we really, we love each other and we wanted to lean on each other, and so, and we've done that. First friends and then strangers started spreading the word about all the wedding items taken from the home. Even shoes Sharifa planned to wear on the big day. Rocky Top Hospitality donated dozens of cases of beverages, napkins, cups, and more for the reception, and about a dozen other shops sent things as well. Vendors, uh, all friends, people we know, people we don't know, strangers just have really opened themselves up and, and really just given, given from the heart and really helped us. Sharifa says stress about the house helped her avoid bridezilla moments by reminding her little wedding details don't matter. Everything that happened just put things in perspective and just kind of reprioritize why we're doing all this and that's because we're in love and we just want to get married and start our family. She says the past week brought their families closer together and strengthened their relationship. I feel cl closer to you every day. Yeah, if we can get through that, we can probably get through anything. They say they'll take it easy this week and then rebuild. Finish, get back in there. Get back yeah, in there, finish it up. With some, yeah, finish up the renovations, fill it with some great new memories, and just move on. In Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.